Hey, tonight I want to talk a bit about this band and this album, Clock DVA Advantage. When it's an album from 1983, when I first listened to it, must have been mid to late 80s, I was actually a bit underwhelmed. I was a bit underwhelmed because I think basically because I was far more of a punky at the time and it just sounded too polished, it just sounded too normal in a way, at least according to my frame of reference. Now revisiting it and buying it as an album uh, only recently, I'm actually far more impressed than I was back then. Uh, Clock DVA, for those who know, were based from Sheffield, Northern England. Um, more or less in the same lines from local bands like Cabaret Voltaire and early Heaven 17 and in their earlier lineups in their earlier outputs also quite a lot of a certain ratio so picture this northern English post-industrial post-funk so music made with a punkish attitude with elements of industrial music and definitely also a lot of funk, at least white man's funk, if you want to call it. Their late Clock TVA is a difficult band because in their different phases, they basically made different types of music. In their, late, their later output is very electronic. Their earlier, earlier output is very, call it white man's funkish. And this is right in the middle. I think in retrospect, I like this album best and I think this is actually the best album that they made just because it plays right into the heart of this funky doom type of music that is very 80s obviously, uh, but also in a weird sense, very danceable. It's dark music with a twist. It's extremely danceable for a band in a post-punk genre, post-punk genre actually, and it just contains a number of beautiful and actually even today very relevant songs like Resistance, Breakdown, Tortured Heroin, and I can go on and on. This is just a massively undervalued, underrated and largely forgotten album. And if you ever find it in a secondhand record shop, Buy it, without a doubt. Thank you.